I'm Chris Perillo, and if this seems like a weird way to introduce a live video, just understand it's live. I just unboxed this, my Google Pixel 2, and we had about 600 people tuning in, which is great. I would like to remind all the 600 people who tuned in, or anybody who watches my videos, that we do a live video every day in the other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash locker room. Yes, this happened. You kind of have to shrink your graphic, though, everybody in Discord chat, if you wanted to show up. I, I did officially lick uh, the uh, the Pixel 2. It was basically a super chat that came in during the live broadcast. And so uh, if you are watching the live broadcast, it, again, this is wonderful because you were listening to the last video. We did two live broadcasts in this channel uh, today. There you go. And then someone else uh, jumps in. Uh, that was the, uh, the last uh, super chat that came in. Uh, it was a fantastic one. And I think, let's see here. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, I see. 40 for family dinner, not tech. Thank you. I see what it was. Oh, there's a, there's a version. No! You can't do that! That's not fair! You, you can't have me licking the iPhone 10. Okay, tell me the notification went out. Tell me it, tell me it happened. Tell me it's, it's, it's streaming into the right spot and everything, because I'm not sure exactly if it worked. This is the Google Pixel 2 unboxing. So if you're wanting to watch this, make sure you watch the other live video. And then after this, TLDRs we do every weekday. If you want to join Discord chat, it's easy to do. Head over to either twitch.tv slash Chris Perillo and sub, sub to me. Uh, we use Twitch just about every day to record the podcast. So you can interact in the podcast and ask questions. Uh, and then, of course, you can sub to get access to Discord. And you can also access Discord chat 24-7 with all these nerds and geeks. Uh, great group here, great community, part of our community, uh, for uh, uh, becoming a patron of mine at patreon.com slash Chris Perillo. Two ways of joining Discord, supporting this endeavor. Another way to support the endeavor is when I am doing these live videos, which I'm doing again right now, you can do what's called a super chat on YouTube. And you just press the super chat button, which is this little button that says, well, it doesn't say anything. It's a do there's a dollar sign. It's international. You got to do it from the desktop or potentially an Android device. Uh, but we've had already an amazing array of uh, super chatters. Come on! That is so not fair. That was the worst thing I should have ever done. Now, you may be asking, Chris, are you going to licks, licks, lick the Google Pixel 2 XL? Well, I got to tell you, it was a big super chat uh, offering. So that's why I basically entertained the request. I can't just do it for everybody. Can't do it for, for, for anybody. It was a big super chat. Which, by the way, goes directly into helping cover the cost for the Pixel 2 XL and the Pixel outright. I may return one. I'm not sure how my budget's going to go. So every little bit counts. Thank you for being a sub. Thank you for being a patron. Uh, thank you for having uh, done the super chats. So uh, speaking of super chats, I've, I basically uh, set this up uh, as a, a, a effectively a way to fund uh, some of these Pixel experiences. And so some people sponsor me. We had 28 people. Well, at least at the time I did the last video, had 28 people before yet yeah, still 28 people who supported that uh goal and you've covered a, a good chunk of uh, the the cost of the pixel i had to get it on my own i much prefer uh, these types of uh, uh sponsors than having to chase them down uh, myself so uh, let me go ahead and before we get to the unboxing just like we did in the other video uh, highlight the pixel sponsors these are people who uh, backed me on go.tagjag.com slash device fund you can still go there you can still support me and I'm not going to read any any names. I'm just going to kind of scroll through as slowly as I can and as legibly, or trying to keep it as legible as I can. Um, this is the easiest way that we uh, we figured we could do it to make sure that they get the credit uh, that they deserve, at least for some of these initial Pixel videos. If you'd like your name to show up in one of these Pixel videos, uh, all you got to do is just be uh, you know someone who backs me on go.tagjag.com slash device fund. Or, of course, you can super chat during this live video. Uh, you could also potentially join the chat room, and then, of course, your name would pop up all the time because you'd be a part of these live videos. Can't do live videos every day. Oh, Google saying everything's been delivered. Thank you, Google. I did not need to know that. It just I, I, Don't you love how notifications work? Like, it just told me everything was there, although it was a little off. It suggested that my Pixel book was delivered. I'm like, uh, I don't think so. So if I if, if you feel like I skipped over your name or went too fast, uh, just let me know. I'd be happy to, to make sure you get all the credit uh, that you deserve. And it looks like we restack these, which is really, really nice. Andrew Epperson. Very, very nice. I, sh I got to be careful. I don't want to shout out everybody's name because I don't want to leave anybody out. Oh, we got a super chat? Oh, we've already broke the seal here. Uh, Dustin Aubrey came in with a super chat already. No question that I can see, but thank you very much, Dustin, uh, for that uh, super chat message, which, see, 
shows up like that when Liz screenshots it. Um, it's very nice to have that kind of support. It's very nice to have this kind of support. You help make this possible. This video that I'm doing for you, you just think it's just me who's able to do these things. I can't do it without you, without any one of these people, every one of these people. Uh, so I, I see a couple of the, the questions here in, uh, in live chat. Some people have been watching me for a long time. Uh, I'm uh, I'm anxious to dive into the Pixel 2 XL experience now after having tried the uh, the Pixel 2 experience out of the box, uh, which generally speaking was relatively smooth. Definitely saw a few hiccups, which I will uh, be documenting to make sure I get in front of the, the right people. All the people here on the second half of the list are people who super chatted and said that they were basically tossing into the Pixel fund specifically. We have a lot of people to credit. So you, you can't just assume that, oh my gosh, hang on. We just got a giant, in the middle of doing this, we got a giant super chat. Huge super chat. Just came, And when I say huge, like giant super chat. Like, I, you're not going to believe who just super chatted us and, and, and how they funded a bit, of, a bit more of the pixel. I think you guys have covered one of these pixels now, which is fantastic. It's, it's a huge, huge help. Huge. You're not going to believe it. You're going to see the screenshot come up in Discord chat in just a second. Any guesses as to who it is? Make a guess. Take a guess. Take a guess as to who did it. Anybody's guess? Thank you, everybody, in this list. It was someone that was in this list. John Prosser from Front Page Tech came in with a gigantic super chat right there, Pixel Fund. Now, John switched from iOS to Android a little while ago, uh, which, you know, was kind of shocking. And I, I wouldn't say that he was necessarily my um, Sherpa on this journey. But geez and crackers! Are you kidding me? Wow, okay. Um... So thank you, John. Uh, obviously, Front Page Tech, you should subscribe to him, uh, if only because he's kind of the kind of guy who thinks like me a lot. Not on everything, but certainly on this stuff. Zeanian comes in with a super chat to rival. We, we, we You guys are just one-upping each other. Zeanian, and I think Zeanian now has access to Discord chat as well because he, came, he became a sub. He says, on to, adding on top of that previous super chat, hope this will ease the pain. Please lick, lick the XL2. Okay. So now you have a promise at some point during this Pixel 2 unboxing. Wow. Uh, you, you have no idea. You have no idea how much that helps. These, these are not cheap devices. Um, every little bit helps. Thank you, patrons, subs, super chatters, everybody. The, uh, uh, the, the Pixel 2 XL will be licked. So let's go ahead and show you the box here. Now, this box, just to compare, is different. It looks, it's the same size, which is what's interesting. Uh, but what's different, of course, is this one's green, this one's blue. Not a huge difference. And of course, this is the uh, the Pixel 2 XL versus the Pixel 2. And you can see on the side, what's interesting is that they seem to be the same size on the side. The same box. but uh, and, and they probably did that for good reason, if only to save on manufacturing costs. But it doesn't give you the true uh, representation of the height of the phone outright. That's something I, I did want to note. Uh, so let me go ahead and feel where that sticker is we got it we had another super chat okay 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 we've seen enough of that let's let's move on with chat uh if you want to show off your setups that's fine uh, you show off your brag about your phones that's fine how do i there we go i was looking for the, the the sticker to pull couldn't find it uh veronica r came in with a super chat for the pixel thank you very much and we have another super chat uh clean 937 this is very nice to see uh, Mel Mervin Flores says, can't wait to get mine. Dude, it's, it's exciting. I, I really can't wait to dive into it a little further and get past setup. And then I'll be able to really grok the experience. No box fart. Very well done. Uh, and there is the famous, the infamous Google Pixel 2 XL. Now, I, I'll get to this in a bit because I know a lot of people are anticipating uh, the, 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 the look-see on this. And we'll be doing quite a few videos on the Pixel 2 versus the XL, the screen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I, I definitely want to talk about that. Let's go ahead and get through the rest of the unboxing. Here we have this tray as opposed to this tray. So if you want to get a, a, an idea about the phone sizes versus phone size, they're really not that much different in terms of uh, size outright, at least that I can tell. Uh, inside... We have the, yay, welcome to Team Pixel Book. I'm very, very happy to see that. Being very, very careful. Hell's favorite Angel Mike in YouTube says, my V30 screen is fine. Everyone says it's having problems, but I'm not having issues. So it's, it's just a matter of perception and what you're sensitive to. Uh, Oscar the Grouch, uh, basically, Oscar the Grouch. Oh, so that would be 
Okay, so lay the phone down flat on the table when you turn it on and check the screen issue. I will. In fact, I'll, I'll be able to compare both of them. So we got to let's get started. I'm going to go through the rest of this. Be safe. And then the SIM uh, uh, tray ejector tool. We'll set that to the side. We have the, uh, what is it? The type A to the type C connector. I think this will help facilitate the data transfer. What? John, wait, hang on. Is that a second one? Okay, we, we, we're not getting into my phone's bigger than your phone contest here, are we? Because, I mean, y'all know this is going right to the pixels. John based, John from Front Page Tech, this is the best advertising money can buy, apparently. Uh, came in with an even larger super chat. I can't, it goes, goes right to paying these bills, man. Uh, and, and then, okay, so we've got that. I'm going to pull this out. Nothing else in, in this particular uh, piece. We've got the USB-C cable, uh, the infamous uh, headphone jack to uh, uh, USB Type-C, which someone mentioned in the other channel has a built-in DAC. Uh, for better audio quality. I can't confirm that, but it was something that was uh, uh, mentioned for sure. Unable to send message. Well, that's weird. That's odd. Try another system. Try turning off ad blockers. Try... I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, how much are you trying to send? Yeah, you, don't, don't... This is not a contest. Honestly, it really isn't. In this particular box that was at the bottom there, we have uh, the adapter, which I didn't point this out, and I should have pointed this out um, in the other video, this is, this is one thing that, 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 that definitely perturbs me, and I'd like to see Google do, do a bit more on. Thank you, Sylvain LaBelle, for the super chat. Um, we have uh, white accessories and a black phone. That annoys me to no end. That really annoys me. By the way, you got, you got a lot of uh, front page tech fans in here, uh, John. That's, that's, you're, you're getting some subs. I'm telling you, man, it'll work. How come you get subs from these videos, and I can't even get people to subscribe to the other Locker Gnome YouTube channel? YouTube.com slash Locker Gnome, where we're doing TLDR after this. We'll have another live video today with y'all. And then true Q&A. Okay, so here we go. The big moment is here. The unveiling of the screen that everybody's been upset about. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, that's... Look at that. Look at that. Can you see anything? The answer is no. It's black. You can't even see anything on this screen. Oh, that's horrible. How can people live with this? That That's disappointing. They're right. They're right. This is a very, very dark screen. I can see why they're complaining. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I don't even know if I can continue with this. I, I've just lost all my energy. I, I'm. If you don't mind, I'm just going to send it back. They're right. All the screen complaints are absolutely right. I can't deal with this. I, how can anybody deal with that? Hang on, hang on. Let me lay it on the, the table. Oh, man! And then when you lay it on the table, it reflects what's up there? Are you kidding me? So not only can you not see anything on the phone, but then it reflects things. I... You, look, 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 did you see? It re Look, it reflects that light. That light over there, it's reflecting it. Oh, man, and then it has this weird effect, man. It's reflecting light. Who can deal with that? Oh... That's so disappointing. I kind of, I kind of want to <laughs> laugh about it. Sorry, I was being a little facetious there. Obviously, it is not the screen issue that everybody's been going on about. I have no idea <laughs> how I'm going to react to the screen, but let's go ahead and boot her up. All right, so uh, it's definitely bigger. It feels bigger in the hand, uh, as, as it should, compared to uh, the diminutive... Uh, if you will, uh, but see it's not that much physically. It's not that much bigger. Let's see if I can hold it up Perfectly, and I don't know if I can it's not that much bigger Really and you can so see what the size of the tray is going side by side, but it's not that much bigger um, But it definitely it it feels Larger definitely feels larger in the hand But it doesn't it's not that much bigger, which is just weird like there's a weird Delta like this feels comfortable the two but the 2xl is like bigger like, fantastically bigger. We got another uh, few super chats here. Definitely want to do the shout outs. Uh, Matt Miller, thank you. I appreciate it. Brad Wilson, troll fund. <laughs> thank you. Uh, SG, S, S, G, S, Trunks says, fan, since you were posting vids on current. Whoa, that was a long time ago. And David Dyer comes in. Thank you, David. I do appreciate it. I do, and I appreciate you, David. I know we may have had differences in the past, but loving the content, Chris. Loving you. Uh, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and should we boot it up? Let's just see. And by the way, it I should have mentioned this, and this will go in my initial impressions. I did not once 
in playing with the Pixel 2, noticed the bezels. Everyone was going on about, oh, the bezels are horrible. Not once did I notice them. Not once. So we're going to hold and press and hold the right button. It's, it's, a little, it's up here. The power button. Ooh, a long vibration there. Google, clean screen. Yeah, at an angle, it's blue, but it doesn't seem to be any more blue at an angle than... Okay, maybe the... If you look at the... Uh, if you look at the two at an angle, it's uh, um, it's green, but hang on. I have the anti-reflective, the, the reject blue light glasses on. All right, let me see. Yeah, it's still a little green. And eh, maybe it's a little red. It's definitely not, it's not a perfect viewing angle. And, almost, and, and the two rainbows at, at, at a supreme angle, not the two XL. I don't know. How, this is an issue? I know if I turn down the brightness, it may have uh, exhibit screen uh, screen banding, but I don't know, man. I guess that's not a deal breaker for me. Colored edges. Oh, we get some balloons. Ew, there, there's some there's some skip in that animation as it was going in. It was that was not very that was not very clean. Uh, we're gonna skip all this setup. Skip. Uh, continue. Okay, brightness got dimmed automatically. Uh, oh, well, I'm not going to worry about the time here. Go back. Next, Joe Smith. Okay, we'll do Chris, C-H-R-I-S. Next. Well, I'm not going to skip that. Skip that. I'm just going to... I'm skipping all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a sec. Setting up. And we're into the Pixel 2 XL. Swipe down. I don't know. The first time I noticed something different, but that I did this time. Like when I swiped down the first time in the other phone, it seemed like there was a little bit of, of frame droppage, but not this time. Okay, so let's scroll up. Clean. I definitely like the screen. I mean, let's go ahead and dim it a bit because usually it's right around the 30% mark. This is what a lot of people were concerned about with this. And by the way, we got Adam Mortimer who came in uh, with a super chat. Thank you very much. Um, so my first impressions of not bad blue shift has confirmed me buying this. It's, 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 it's really not, some people really get agitated by it, but I guess, you know, I see it there and it's like, okay, it's bluer, but it's not like, it's not so incredibly off-putting to me. I mean, it changes when you pick it up, but that, that wouldn't be the most off-putting part of the experience for me. It'd be like, you know, if it, it if it doesn't perform as nicely or as cleanly, as the other one, which, you know, it's got to push a lot more pixels across the screen. I definitely like the screen size a lot more. Not sure how I feel about the curved edges, if only because watch, like when I, when I hit the volume, like that, that ring up there that where the word just seems to be awkwardly placed, everything else seems to be pretty well padded, but because of the rounded corner, it doesn't look like it's, it's effectively accommodating for it as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I, there's, I'm not seeing any like massive jank, massive jank outright. Uh, fast and fluid animations for the most part. I don't have everything set up, but it doesn't seem to be performing any better or any worse than the other one. Okay, so when I opened the camera app in the, the Pixel 2, it jumped a bit because it was waiting for me to do permissions. So let's go ahead and, and do that. See, that was cleaner. It, it, didn't, it didn't jank on me there, but it's fast. It's definitely fast. So let's go ahead and turn off the, turn off the phone and then do double tap. We're in the camera. That was fast. Y'all saw it. Very clean. Very effective. Uh, Jamar D says, Google said they may release a software update to give color options. Yeah, but I don't... It, it's not It's not striking me as odd. I, I guess other people find it muted, but I'm fine. Sweaty Pickle. Love the handle. Thank you for the super chat. That's awesome. Uh, Oscar... Oh, I'm sorry. Omar Phoenix came in. Super chats for super cuties. Hugs to the famsies. And front page tech comes in with $2. Dude, John, you've done enough. Gotta head out. Love you, Chris. Welcome to Android. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I really gotta figure out if there's any performance differences between these experiences. So I just, I don't know, there's something about the animation doesn't seem to be as fluid uh, when I'm doing this, like up close. Not to say there's jank, but it just doesn't seem to be as, let's do this, as fluid as I'd like it to be. And I'll answer questions. I'll answer any questions. Maybe it's no worse. There's no screen tearing, of course, but and maybe I won't notice it, you know, after time. And I don't think that's a system animation that I can necessarily tweak either. But there's, yeah, it's not, it's a little, it's a little jittery with the swipe over. 
Yeah, on both the phones. It's a little jittery on the swipe over. I'm not I'm not ex I, there's it's not as fluid as it could or should be. These are things I got to these are things I got to note. Um yeah, the an animation has always been pretty eh. Yeah. You know, I I I totally agree. I really want to get into using this over and over and over and over again before I I'm able to give a a full you know, I impression. And I really got to set it up to to really get it to go on. And I'm inclined, you know what, I'm I'm kind of inclined to set up, I mean, using the Pixel 2, and I may be returning the Pixel 2, and thinking that I wasn't going to return the Pixel 2, and then holding on to uh, this. I mentioned in the other video, oh yeah, wait, hang on, what is that? Oh, okay, Th there's a transparent background, I was like, there's kind of some gunk on the screen. It was because it's transparent. Uh, let's go ahead and change that wallpaper. Uh, wallpaper, living universe, let's go with the marvelous mar marble again, that was pretty neat. I like Marvelous Mar- Oh, see, that was janky. It was like, the, the the permissions didn't come up right away. Is anybody noting, like, my jank issue? I should have written them down. Allow pixel wallpaper to, you know, device's location. Yep. Can do. Let's set wallpaper. Wallpaper set successfully. Now, I've got dark mode, which is clean and nice, and the app drawer is clean and nice. See, it did it the same way. Look, it stuck, it stuck before on the other, on the other one when I swiped over for the Google app. That... That's the second time it's happened. I, I, you know, I'd hate to send this video to anybody to take a look at it. But look, y'all see it? Like, take a screenshot. Someone take a screenshot and tweet it to me. Like, this is just really weird. Like, after setting the live wallpaper, or the, the wallpaper, and then s scrolling over to, to get to the Google thing. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't, you know, it's still, if I swipe down, it's still. Let me turn it off. Have you tried turning it off and on again? All right, yes, yeah, swipe up. Now it's back to... Well, no, it's still dim. Why is that dim down there? Look, it's dim. How's everything... It's like the launcher's buggy. Yeah, everything's... That's back off... It's still off-center. No, I didn't mean to launch calendar, but okay. Um, yeah, that's... That's not good. That's that's weird. Okay, so I'm going to move on. Uh, not make... It's an 8.0.0 release. Make note of these issues. We'll get them fixed. We will. Uh, it's not that serious if it doesn't happen again. Well, but it, it did happen. You can't ignore it. You can't say, well, uh, you're holding it wrong. It ain't me, dude. It did the same thing on the other device, which lets me know that it's systemic. Okay, so scrolling's fine. Everything seems responsive. Not odd at all. Uh, let's go into system. Uh, about phone, Android version a few times. There's the Oreo. All right, everybody ready for the licking? This is the licking that was requested with the Super Chat. Super Chatters get to make requests here. gotta you know warm yourself up for that you can't just dive into the lick you got to get to know the device first that's that you got sometimes you have to you know buy it dinner believe me it's worth more than a few dinners here we go oh wait you stay up there did you get your screenshots everybody is everybody good okay. i licked it maybe not as long of a lick oh yeah so this is a problem with the screen if you lick the phone, it makes little rainbow droplets on the screen. That's horrible. How could anybody live with this? I swear, I'm not making fun of the people who see this as a problem. It could be better. Yes. I don't... I'm the type of person who doesn't see that as a... a uh, whoa. Oh, is, are you doing a, the screen effect there? That's funny. Comes clean, though. IP67. Waterproof. It's lick-proof, in case you were wondering. Very much lick proof. All right. Oh man, but but I still can't. How would I effectively? So if I long see if I long press the first time, it doesn't pull. It doesn't pull up the uh, the multitasking menu. But if I if I long press in no, let's do this. If I long press if I long press the second time, then I can. Weird. So I can't do I can't do camera split screen, but I can't. Let's I gotta open up another app that's not really. There we go. So let's do that, and then... Oh, now, if I do that, split screen, then it'll work. So Google Play doesn't seem to be split screen uh, compatible. Can I move that up there? Oh, no. Okay, let's do that. Let's do this. Sorry, I'm trying to split screen something. There we go. Some messages. So if I split screen... Yeah, see... Yeah, the, the certain apps don't... Uh, when they rotate, they, they, they're different from what they could be in portrait mode, but still, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's clean. It's cleanish. It, it, it'll work.
Uh, lick the notch on the 10. I don't have a 10 yet. That's that's the next device fund, potentially. Uh, uh, Reginald Bowie says, Chris, you need an open. That's how it's supposed to work. Okay, yeah, but what's weird, though, is... Oh, you need to have one open. Okay, that that's, that's me not understanding it as much as everybody else. Thank you. But I... Okay, now I can swipe over and get it. Feels nice. It feels clean. I'll be using the moment... Um, the moment case with the moment lenses, this is something I mentioned in the other unboxing. I'm probably going to return the Google Pixel cases that I bought because moment basically is allowing me to try their 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 lenses. So moment is a, a local company, Seattle company that makes lenses for your iPhone or for your pixels that you basically use with their case that will give you wide angle, uh, macro, and uh, um, also a, a what was it telephoto. So I'm getting three lens attachments real soon. I, I, I didn't have it I didn't have enough in in the because they kind of gave me a budget I didn't have enough to get the fisheye one but that's another option for you I just I figured I'd be fine with the uh, the wide the wide angle uh, without the fisheye but uh, it's it that's neat I mean I'll be talking about those uh, real soon so you know I was inclined right up front uh, to 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 say that I'd be happier with the pixel 2 at a distance but you know it's not bad all right let's try to let's try to dim the screen let's open up a, a Google play here. Not sure how I feel about those rounded corners outright. They're still, they're still growing on me. Uh, put animations to zero. I love you. You'll guarantee. Yeah, that's probably gonna make me a, a very happy. Uh, another super chat uh, from uh, thank you, Michael Naseby the second. Raf K comes in and says, "Have you tried the fingerprint sensor? It's super fast. Have not. I didn't bother setting it up. Uh, I believe you because even on the Nexus Six P, it's it's relatively uh, fast. Okay, so let's dim the screen. It dimmed on its own. I gotta remove the glasses from in front of my eyes. Seeing a lot of chat. Thank you." Um, a lot. Android is intuitive. There's no doubt in my mind. It is absolutely intuitive. Anybody says otherwise, I don't think really knows what's going on. Uh, there's the what do they say? Always on display. I, my spit is everywhere. Thanks. No, seriously. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the super chats. All right, let's press the power button. Swipe up. Okay, I'm gonna br dim it down to. Oh, I see. They moved it. About thirty percent or lower. It's dim. I don't see any issues. Not like I did on the 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 uh, the uh, V thirty. Nothing. I guess if anything, the curved edges may have a, sl a slight impact on what's happening on the and that that just could be just my my eyes, but maybe a little bit over here. Let me let me dim it all the way. Oh, it's pretty much all the way. Man, I I don't know, man. I can't. I could not see a problem with that. No, dude. Hang on. Give me a second. I'm going to do something. Oh, this is great. Crit we Okay, we need a hashtag for this meme, everybody. What's the meme? What is the meme? Hashtag Chris, Chris Licks. Hashtag Chris Licks. Hashtag Chris Licks stuff. We need it simple. Lick, lick the notch. How about... Just, I think... What about... No, no, no. Let's keep working on a... Let's, let's need, we need a new hashtag. The liquor gnome. <laughs> That's too long. We need it shorter. How about Perillo Licks? You got to spell my name correctly. Perillo Licks. Use that hashtag. Perillo Licks. Chris, per Chris Perillo Licks. Is that too long? Chris Perillo Licks. And then you can have me licking stuff. That's I. That's going to get abused. All right, hang on. I'm going to do something that I didn't do in the other video because everyone's curious about the screen banding issue. Um, turning off the lights. Chris. Chris Perillo, After Dark, doing a... You can, can you see me? I, hang on, I don't even know if you can see me in here. Can you... I'm here. Look at that. All right, so let's see here. I've got the, I've got it dim. Oh, got to unlock it here. This will be easier when I get the fingerprint set up. Yeah, I guess when in the in the total dark, I mean, there is there is some issue. I mean, I'm seeing some lines, but I, I just don't know if that would be a, a deal breaker for me. All right, let's go ahead and let's brighten it up a bit. Yeah, a little, a little more brightness, and I mean, it's definitely there. But I don't know if that again. I don't know if 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 that's if that's gonna bug me in in regular use, like actual regular use. It's definitely there. But like I said, you know, these are like I'm at it's at, I mean, I'm at night. You know, it's I'm at, you know sleeping or you know it, it's dark out. That'd be the time that I'd be using dim settings. You know, one thing I wish they had though in the swipe down menu, I wish I had the brightness setting here. Instead of having to swipe down twice to change it, anything above thirty percent, and I think it's it's negligible. Yeah, so I still see some some. Uh, I do see 
I do see like specifically up on my screen up here a bit. Oh, it auto corrected itself. But it may not know what to do here with the light. But you know, anything after 50% it's it's non-existent. 30% is usually the threshold that I found and I can't see the stepping on on this particular slider. And I'll, in fact, it seems like after this point it's a diminishing return. Like after this point is where it just stops getting dimmer. Like right around 20 or 30% it just seems to stop getting dimmer. So that's as dim as it gets. Yeah, it's it's fine for me. Sorry if, if this is really weird for you to experience in the dark, but I had to, I basically have to explain this because this has been a concern of a lot of people's in terms of uh, the 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 form and function of the phone. Um, I'm going to turn on the light again. Now that I did that test, yeah, it, I mean I'd mark it in a strike column, but I don't know if that's you know a total strike. All right, let me scroll down because apparently we had to do that. It, sometimes chat freezes up like that. I do apologize. I did get, I got a notification too. Ah. We either lost the first stream or the two streams merged on YouTube. Can't find the two unboxing yet. Um, it shouldn't have. It was a new stream. And sometimes it disappears and then comes back uh, under events. Uh, I'll, I'll check, Liz, but I don't know. It's live now, but uh, completed. It, hopefully we didn't lose the second one, because I, I stopped it, and then I restarted it, which would mean it was a new stream. Yeah, you're, it's right. I don't know. I don't know, Liz. Couldn't tell you. It could be taking a long time to process, because uh, it would be, uh, uh, you know, it would be a long video. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, this is the same stream. Great. I'm seeing it now. We're, we're doing the same stream. I thought we were doing two streams back to back. So, here's what we're going to do. This is, this is a live stream, and we're getting the Super Chats. What we're going to do... Oh, man. We're going to have to edit it after the fact. Download this live stream video and re-upload it, I think, is, is how we're going to have to do it. I was not expecting that, but I thought when you hit the stop button, you stopped it and you restarted it. But, oh, well, that's just how it goes. So, unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. Any other questions for the uh, Pixel 2 XL? And I'll, of course, take Super Chats as well. We have to down no, we don't have to re download and re-upload both. Um, I don't think we have to go that far because we can edit. We can edit the first one down, and but we just have to. We'd have to clip out the second one potentially. Um, but yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. It is a fast chat. Uh, do a battery life test. How am I going to do that? Like in just using it, not even using it. It's reminding me to get stuff done here. That's a nice screen. I don't. I don't see why there's too many complaints about it. I mean, there are a few things that I might change, but um, let's see here. What's the app drawer? I really want to see the app drawer, how these icons... See, because it, it doesn't seem like the icons down here, that's one issue I see. Like, it doesn't seem like they're floating above the uh, the plane of uh, the apps outright. And maybe there's... Because, like, here, I'll show you. Like, if I swipe over, you can see it, it dims at the top and it gradients at the bottom. That would be the kind of thing I'd be expecting in the app drawer. I don't know why I don't get that... Uh, specifically on on this uh, this area here, but that's just the way it is. Uh, can I test the speaker? Scroll down with two fingers. Scroll down with two fingers. What do you mean? Scroll down with two. What? I don't know what you're talking. About. Can you zoom in on the screen and move it side to side? I don't know what that means. Um, but someone wanted me to play the sound, so we'll go in here. Oops, go in here. Settings. Ah, uh, sound. That's uh, media volume. Let's go all the way up. Ah. Hmm. Doesn't sound bad. Sometimes grabbing that little knob is tricky. These speakers sound a little better than the twos. Just a little. Yeah, these sound better than the two, easily, at full volume. Yeah. Big time. Big time. Full volume. That's that's full volume in all of them. That sounded very nice. It just to my ear, it didn't feel like I had to turn down the volume because it was too shrill. I had that issue on the iPhone 8 Plus and I had definitely had the issue on the uh, um, the 2. But uh maybe I'm going to be setting up the 2 Plus as my uh trial phone. Oh, it's going to be so hard to choose. Mm. 
This is going to be really difficult. Blaze says, I think it's been decided, friends. 2XL for Chris. So it's got the speakers that I'd want. It's got the resolution that I want. It's got all the hardware that I want. Minus, I, the thing I'm concerned about is general performance, right? Is I mean, I know, I know it has the same speed and the same RAM, but there have been, you know, certain benchmarks that have shown that at least with games, and I don't play a lot of games, that's the thing. So maybe that's not as big a deal as it could be for other people outright, I, I, I guess, um, you know, with the frame drops. I'd, I'd really like to see the, the difference between those two uh, before I, I, I went uh, further. We do have a super chat. Uh, Stephen Kane uh, came in and, and said, oh, actually, we have two super chats. Uh, VT Productions PC asked, on my Note 8, you can move the brightness on top. Maybe it's hidden. So you're moving to have it uh, as a daily driver or not yet? We'll see. I got to get things set up and going. Um, uh, Stephen Kane says, two finger swipe down for the main task manager. My radar is by far the best weather app on Android, better than your local weather clean widget as well. My radar? Okay, I'll, I'll try to uh, remember that so I can try it. Okay, so it says, two finger swipe down for the main task manager. But that's, what are you talking, wait, but I, that's the same thing. It, I'm seeing a two finger swipe down is the same thing as a single finger. Am I missing something? I, I may be missing something somewhere. I apologize. Uh, Maximilian Harris asks, 2XL or iPhone 10? Uh, I don't have an iPhone 10 to compare it against, but you know, so far my experience with the 2XL is not as, as, as bad as other people have made it out to be. Uh, does the back feel like plastic? No, it does not. Not outright. Sli swipe with one finger first, and then two? What? One finger twice, two fingers once. No, I know that's how you get down to it. I, I know that's how you get down to it. Sorry. I, I, I know. See, people, I, I think you were telling me something I already knew how to do. I thought it was to unlock something I didn't know how to do. Um, but thank you uh, for that. Uh, chat is awesome. You can join chat, of course. Head over to uh, patreon.com slash chrisperillo or twitch.tv slash Chris Perillo. What we probably needed to do is wait 10 minutes to do the live stream to, to cut it off rather than stopping it and then restarting it. Lesson learned. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I think we ended it right around 50 minutes, which means we're about a half hour into this particular unboxing uh, with plenty of super chats to go. Um, this is uh, this is pretty stellar. Uh, I'm I'm pretty happy. Two X. Did I say not, did I say two plus? Sorry. There's a lot of numbers to keep track of, man. 2XL, that's what I meant. 2XL. How's the squeeze on this one? Let's find out. I like the fact that it works. Next. Okay, squeeze. That's fine. Continue to assistant. I think it's it's it works, but I think I like the squeeze feel on the uh on the um on the smaller one, on the on the two, a little more. And and I think the case will will be will be fine as well. Do do the front-facing portrait selfie. Okay, let's see here. Oops. Open the camera. I want to double tap to turn around, but that, that zooms. Kind of a choppy an animation on the zoom, but it's a digital thing. I think that could be just a little smooth. Look at that. Di that's a nice digital zoom, though. Clean. Got to my Vader. Swap it pretty quick. Look, I look nice. I look wonderful. I like grid lines, though. There we go. Uh, let's go by 3x3. Three by three. It's usually my, my preferred uh, aspect ratio. Although, is that... I guess it is a true 3x3. Three three. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks nice. Uh, wide angle. Very wide angle. Like, this is this would be something that if I switch to a, a video, um, I'm going to try, uh, if, I, uh, if I get going with it, um, uh, tap to hold. I want to... That's tap to focus. Let's lock it. We can dim it a bit. So we increase brightness or lower brightness. Actually, like, right in the middle was fine. I got I got to get it finely tuned, uh, but that's the uh, the video front facing video camera. That's what I use for uh, on the videos. There's a bit of a jelly effect as you you move it back and forth. This is the front facing camera, of course. But I'm going to try shooting a couple of videos uh, with this to see how it turns out. And uh, you know, it looks to be maybe a bit desaturated. Uh, the temperature is is automatic, so of course I could I could you know tweak that a bit. Go to it's definitely not tungsten in here, fluorescent. It, it it's close. It's not. It's it, it's it's LEDs. Let's go three by three. Sorry about that. Um, sunny? No, that's definitely too red. Cloudy? No, definitely not. Auto. I think auto is the best uh, best setting here. I'll try some videos in it. But this is uh this is pretty nice. It's pretty clean. 
Uh, not really seeing anything that would be causing me any great uh, concern outright. Hang on. No, I want to try to get to preferences here. That's that. I'm just trying different things here. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far it's it's not a it's not a it's not a bad thing at all. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic thing. It's it's been it's been great. David, what you have to understand is the front facing camera is going to be different from the rear facing camera. So like the re the quote unquote regular camera. One thing that that is a little perturbing too is it didn't remember my camera settings. So the last time I used the camera, I was front facing selfie. It defaulted here, and maybe it's a setting I have to tweak. It defaulted to uh, the regular camera outright. So the 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 video is going to crop in a bit. And it's steady. It's definitely when I'm holding it here. I mean, you, you don't. I don't see any jelly effect necessarily. Maybe some tearing outright from moving it quickly. But you're gonna, you know, with the gentle glide, it's not. It's not horrible. Um, that's with the video. Um, but it's. It seems to be uh, pretty. Uh, pretty capable. Can you please take a selfie with the background blur effect and see how well it separates you from the background? Okay. Well, I was. I was gonna try to save all the the the, the photo stuff. I will test that. I will be testing all of that. You can twist the phone to change from the front-facing camera to the rear-facing camera. It says D. Wilson Music 145. Really? Twist the twist the phone like that? Am I doing it wrong? There we go. I did it. Once. Dip it? Do, do, I, do I dab it? <laughs> I got to get the right gesture. Okay, so I twist it like that. Okay, but the problem is, is that it's not, it's not something I, I can count on. It's just as easy to go tap and then do it that way. But that's an interesting little tip. Uh, Michael Taylor is saying, trying to say when you use one finger, you have to do two pull down actions. When you use two fingers, it's only one motion. Oh, okay, I see. So I did one and two. I get it. I get it. That's cool. All right, that makes sense. That totally, it totally makes sense. Turn the doorknob twice. Double shake. Ah, uh, okay. Double shake. All right, that's cool. I like that feature. Thank you. I very, very, very appreciate that. Very much uh, appreciate that. Um, we are now at about, let's see here, about 40 minutes, almost uh, uh, encroaching upon 45. Chris, can you hold the power button for a new power menu? Right there. And it's dark mode too, because I'm in dark mode on the front screen. Power off and restart. Very intuitive, very clean. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, wow. This may be it. Pixel 2 XL, man. Is a front-facing camera better than the 8 Plus? I believe it is, It is kind of. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. I think the wider angle on the front-facing camera is going to be very, very helpful outright. Uh, but, you know, thank you, everybody, uh, for, for tuning into this broadcast. I do want to move on to TLDR, which is in the other channel. That will be a separate video. Oh my gosh. Um, the, the quality of this video after it's re-uploaded may not be as high as it was when it was broadcast. It's the nature of, of YouTube and how it handled things. I apologize for that. I, I didn't think that we'd be going into one video as we did. Uh, but hey, we're doing it all for you. Uh, Stephen Kane says, did you see the Pixel Visual Core chip Google will enable within the next few months? Yes, it'll make the camera even more efficient and fast uh, than it has been you know, to, to, to this point. Everything seems generally snappy. Just a few snags that I've seen. Uh, but uh, it, it's... Something that I can't wait to set up, which is I'm going to do what I'm going to do after I stop talking about it with everybody. I'd rather pay attention to you first and the phone second. That's that's where you rank with me. Uh, I will tell you outright, I am and after playing around with the two XL. As much as I thought I'd be happier with the two, I I may be going with the two XL. Not even joking. Um, does it overheat? I I haven't pushed it yet, so I don't know. Uh, but this is a. Uh, I like the two XL. Gonna say it. I I don't think the screen issue is an issue for me yet, so it may be for you, and not for me. Uh, if you want to join us, head over to YouTube.com/slash Locker Gnome. Uh, I'll be live streaming a TLDR in there. And then of course you can join. Oh, funny. Uh, you can join us in Discord chat twenty four seven. Head over to Twitch.tv/slash Chris Perillo, where I hope to do the podcast with everybody tonight. Sub to me there. You get access to Discord within the hour. Uh, and then of course. You can follow me on, on Twitch. You can also get access to the Discord chat by heading over to patreon.com slash chrisperillo and becoming a patron. It's easy to do. 
Uh, e either one is, is fine. However you choose to support me, I'm very, very happy. Uh, if you want to see your name show up in a future Pixel video, you can uh, head over to go.tagjag.com slash device fund because I plan on doing that with the uh, other Pixel videos that we do. Don't know what the next Pixel video is going to be. I don't even know if we have an official ha hashtag. So let's, let's, let's not worry about the hashtag. I think that, that was all over the map and it was inevitable. But thank you for the super chats. Uh, thank you for tuning in for the live broadcast. See it for TLDR as we do every day, uh, and then uh, you know see it throughout the rest of social for the, you know the normal things that we do on a regular basis. I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. May the force be with you.